السلام علیکم السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ السلام و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ All right. Okay. So, mashallah. So, how is everyone doing today? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So we'll just give a quick second to people to join, inshallah. And then we'll continue. Are you guys able to see my screen? Yep. Yes. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> let's start with the proper dua. So, Nahmuduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. Amma ba'ad, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Qala Allahu ta'ala, inna hudallahi huwa al-huda. Wa qala rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi اللہم <سؤال> السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ تو الحمد للہ ایوری ٹائم وی اسٹارٹ سم تھنگ دیر از اے اسٹارٹ اینڈ دیر از این اینڈ تو وی دا مرسی آف اللہ سبحانہ تعالیٰ وی آر السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام وی آر ایٹ دا لاسٹ سیشن آف دس کلاس And Allah, we are going to try to finish it on a high note. And I have a lot of interesting material to share with you. Uh, and inshallah, that will make you feel better. And, and we will we'll feel accomplished that we, we understood and we learned and we know a few things which we didn't know before. So with that, uh, let's start inshallah. Are we ready? Inshallah. Okay, so... I'm going to start with, uh, with the, uh, the camera today. I want to show you a few things, uh, discuss something, a few things with you before we move on. So let's recap on what we have learned. So, and it's a, it's a summary, uh, summary of what we have done. Is the sound quality okay? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay, good. So we started with fail. Yeah? Yes. Okay. And, and we called it the surf, right? We said the, we are going to learn surf. Surf, and yes. In the surf area, we are mostly focused on the fail. And we learn how the fail variate from one word to the other. Like when we say fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'alu. 
Yeah. Yeah. So in the fail category, we had uh, Salasi Mujarat. Yeah. And then we also had Salasi Mazid Fi. Salasi Mazid Fi. Yeah. So in our first iteration, we went in a lot of detail about this Salasi Mujarat. Yeah. Yeah. And in Salasi Mujarrad, we learned everything about Pele Madi. Yeah. Yeah. And we yeah. also learned Pele yeah. Mudare. Mudare. Yeah. Yep. Now, when we did that, we learned a lot of things. And we learned how to make uh, Joomla Pelea. Yeah. Yeah. We learned how to make it. Uh, negative and positive, yeah. negative or positive, yeah. right? Yeah. Learn how to create emphasis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Learn how to create questions, right? Yeah. And a lot of other things. Then we also learned something called. Sahi and Ghair Sahi. What was that? Remember? Sahi and Ghair Sound, <laughs> words, and weak words. Remember that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We had a whole session, like almost like 10 sessions about like what is Sahi and what is Ghair Sahi. So, in a nutshell, the where sahi was uh, the following. Uh, we said where sahi. Am I, maybe I'm making a mistake here. There's a, another ha here. Okay, we said if there is hamza, yeah, hamza in ka, ain or lam position, right? Okay. Yeah. Then we also said there is a double letter, okay? Or repeat letter, I should say, repeat. That was the mudaf. Remember that part? Yeah. And then we also had wow, ya, and alif. And we call it? Mat. It's a... Right? Yeah. And then we had motel. Fa, Motel, Ain, Motel, Lam. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now we had rules about all of these. Yes? We have rules. Yes. And we learned that rules. So we covered a lot of material here. Now, what about Salasi Majid Fi? Did we had Fele Madi and Fele Mudari in Salasi Majid Fi? Yes. So it was similar. Yeah? Yeah. Right. And we also have Jumla Felia in Salasi Mazi. Yep. Yes. yes. We also have we have, we know how to make negative or positive. We know how to create emphasis. We know how to make questions out of it. So similarly, we also have the Sahi sound and weak origins. Yeah. Yeah. Now, did we learn that yet? In Salasi Mujarrad, we learned the Ghair Sahi. But in Salasi Majid Fi, did we learn the Ghair Sahi yet? Not yet, I guess. No. Not yet. But do we need to learn it? Question is that. In the Ghair Sahi Afwal, were we concerned about what happened to the Fa position and the Ain position and Lam position? Remember when we said Hamza is in the either in the Fa, Ain, or Lam position, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a repeat letter in the fa, ayin, or lam position? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Or there is a wow, ya, and alif in the fa, ayin, or lam position? Yes. Yeah. yeah we learned about. So, tell me something. What is so special about Salasi Mazid fi? We still have fa, ayin, and lam. Yes. Yeah. But we have addition of one plus or two plus. 
or three plus three plus yeah. right meaning we have yeah. additional one letter additional two letters or additional three letters yes pa ayn and lam gone anywhere no 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 so in other words whatever you learn here same applies here okay yeah so the the long story is the the, now the long story that where sahi afwal the one you learn in salasi mujarrad the same rule applies to salasi majid p because with the additional letter if you find hamza in the fa ain or lam position you apply the rules of hamza what is the name for hamza mahmud mahmud if there is a double letter in the fa ain and lam position and it is salasi majid fi you will apply the rule of mudaaf and if there are waw ya alif in the position of fa ain and lam you will apply the rules of mu'tal mu'tal so mu'tal al fa mu'tal al ain mu'tal al lam mu'tal al fa is mithal uh, i i believe mu'tal al lam yeah. is ajwa ain is ajwa and mu'tal al lam is naqis naqis right so by looking at it this way what i'm trying to highlight for you that alhamdulillah the material you have covered is is took us almost a year yes we did surf one which was the salasi mujarrad we had almost 20 sessions 20 session means 20 weeks correct yeah One session means twenty weeks, and you can do the math. Twenty times four is what? Five months. Yeah, five yeah. months. Right. Then we also had ten sessions of Ghair Sahi, so that's another two and a half months. Yeah. Yeah. Ten weeks is two and a half months, right? So five and two and a half is seven and a half, and we did the Salasi Mazid for another ten sessions, so that's another two and a half. Is it almost a year? Yes, Alhamdulillah. So in one year, you have gone from Salasi Mujarrad to Salasi Mazid Fi, and then you have also learned a lot of things in between. So today, if you were wondering what about the weak verbs for Salasi Mazid Fi, the same thing you have learned for Salasi Mujarrad applies to Salasi Mazid Fi. The only difference is you either have a additional letter one, two, or three. But fa ain and lam is still the same. So as soon as you see that and any of this applies, the same rule will apply to this. How does that make sense? You feel good about that? that you yeah, yeah. It should, it should be then similar to my salasi mujarrad. All right. Okay. So with this, I just wanted to give you an idea that what we have covered so far. Okay. So let's go back to our screen, and what I have prepared for you is remember I promise you that I'll get you this screen. So let's see if I can get my picture out of the way for a second. And let me bring it down here for now. Okay. So we know we have fail madi malum. What is fail madi malum? Fail madi past tense. Malum mean is the yeah, it's already known. Active it's voice done. Maru, yes. right? So active voice. So siga is the you know the uh, in the fourteen cell. Siga is the one cell. So we say siga one, two, three, and then we know that the the families we have learned is if alun. If alun, yes. If ilun, yes. Mufa alatun. And tafa ulun. Tafa ulun, right? If the alun, and in the alun, and is the alun, right? They don't sound unknown now, right? Do they? No. You're all familiar with, them, correct? Okay. So if you have to look at, we have looked at them individually. Uh, in in each session, we took one uh, bab or one family, and we talked about it in detail. But over here, the Wahid Muzakkar Gaib. How would you say it in English? Singular, masculine, masculine, masculine third person, and third yeah. person. 
Yeah, so try to get your mind programmed in such a way that as soon as I say why in Muzakkar Ghaib, you know what I'm talking about. So is this Siva number one? Yes. yes. If, if you have the table, then this is the cell number one, right? Yeah. So for if al, it will become af'ala. For taf'ilun, it will become fa'ala. And this is the madi pattern. Now, do we need to know for, for a verb, do we need to know the madi and the mudare to work? Right? We need to know if there is an action, then how that action happened in the past and how that action will happen in the present and the future, right? For that, you need the Madi and the Mudari. Agree? Yeah. Okay, good. So then, Mufalatun is Fa'ala. Oh. Then, Tafa'ala, the Tafa'ala, right? And this is also Tafa'ala. I mean, they're sounding different. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you get the idea. If Ta'al is If Ta'ala. And In Fa'ala, is tafala. Yeah. Can you guess what will be the tasniya mudakkar ghaib? First of all, what is tasniya mudakkar ghaib? Tasniya is. Second ziga. Yes. Yeah. Is two. Afala. Afala. Yes. The so dual, masculine, dual. and third person. person. Okay. So this is siga number. Sal two. Number two. 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 So afala. Yeah. What is the next possible? What is the next Siga? Can somebody? Jama Muzakkar Okay, that's good. All right, just give me a quick second. Okay, so you will say it will be Jama oh, Muzakkar Ghaib. Af'alu. 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 So you, you got the idea that how this thing is laid out, right? Yeah. So for all these eight families, these are the first Siga for each one, then the second Siga for each one, and the third Siga for each one. Now we covered the third person male. Yes? Yes. Yeah. What will be the next one? Wahid Muannas Ghaib. Wahid Muannas Ghaib. Wahid Muannas Ghaib, right? So yeah. that will be? Afalta. Why don't we say Brother Khalid, you say the first one. Wait, wait a second. Sister uh, Nasim will say the second one. Then Brother Ijaz will say the third one. And then Sister Lubna will say the fourth. How's that? Yes. And then, yeah. then you start over again, right? So four people, eight families, you get the chance to say two each. Yeah? So you said Af'alat, Sister uh, Nasim? Ta'alat. Brother Ijaz? Ta'alat. Sister Lubna? Ta'alat. Very good. Brother Khalid? Ta'alat. If ta'alat. That's why? In ta'alat. Good. Is ta'alat. Okay. All right. The second one will be Tasniya Munna. Tasniya Munna. Okay, so let me just take it here. So, Brother Khalid? Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Brother Khalid? Very good. Very good. In fa'alata. Very good. Istaf alata. Very good. Now, again, a quick check. 
why do we say all these this way? Because we know that for if alun, and we need to know the madi pattern. As soon as we know the madi pattern, we know how to say the siga. Agree? Yeah. Okay. You can see there is a similarity between all of these. Now, only thing changing from fa'ala, fa'ala is two. The, the thing is changing the number. Yeah. The gender is the same. And here, the gender also changes, right? Yeah. Fa'ala yeah. is for feminine. Okay. So, jama mo'annas ghaib. Jama mo'annas ghaib. Afalna. Fa'alna. Alna. Fa'alna. Fa'alna. Okay. Tafa'alna. Okay, great. Ifta'alna. Ifta'alna. Okay. Infa'alna. Infa'alna. Ifta'alna. Ifta'alna. Very good. Now, there might be other people who wants to do this. So unless they volunteer, I'm. Uh, should I call their name? Who wants to do it? Yes, yes please. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. So brother uh, uh, is Murad will do the first one. Then only two sisters here. To you got to repeat yourself, and the second sister Nasreen, then brother Javed, and then sister Lubna. How's that? Yes. Okay, let's try. Sorry. Yes. So let's see. So the next one is Brother Murad is going to be, let's see, quickly. Wahid Mudakkar Hadir. So, first of all, tell me what is Wahid Mudakkar Hadir? So, this is singular male who is present. Very good. Okay, so yes. it will be. Yeah, so it af alta. Okay, Sister Nasreen. Fa alta. Very good. Sister uh, Brother Javed. Fa alta. Very good. And Sister Lubna. Fa alta. Very good. Brother Murad. Tafa alat. Tafa alta. Tafa alta. Very good. Okay. If ta alta. Very good. Infa alta. Very good. And Istaf alta. Okay, good. So this is the second person, right? Then uh, second person dual for male. Afa altuma. Okay. Fa altuma. Okay. Tuma. Very good. Islubna. Tafa al Very good. Tafa al Very good. Ifta al tuma. Infa al tuma. Very good. Istaf al tuma. Very good. For the Jama Muzakkar Hadir. Afa al tum. Afa al tum. Very good. Afa al tum. Very good. Afa al tum. Altum, very good. Tafa altum. Very good. Tafa altum. Very good. Ifta altum. Very good. Infa altum. Very good. Istaf altum. Okay, good. So now for the fem feminine, we're going to say Wahid Monat Hadir. Hadir. So it's going to be Af. Af alti. Alti, right? Very good. Fa alti. Okay. Tafa alti. Very good. Tafa alti. Very good. If the alti. In fa alti. Okay. In fa Okay, sorry, brother Javid, go ahead. In fa alti. Very good. Is taf alti. Okay. Now for the dual monas, Hadir. Af'altuma. 
Very good. Fa'altuma. Very good. Fa'altuma. Very good. Tafa'altuma. Very good. Tafa'altuma. Very good. Ifta'altuma. Okay. Let me move my picture out of the way. Okay, the next one. Infa altuma. Okay. Istaf altuma. Mashallah. So by doing this exercise so far, I'm sure you're able to see that the same pattern is repeated and all we are doing is changing the pattern for the bab. So bab ifal, bab tafil. But the actual thing is, once you know the, the root pattern, it's just a matter of applying it across the board. Is that easy or is it hard? Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, easy. Yes? Okay, good. So for the third one, uh, Brother Abzal, would you like to participate in this? Brother, I'll skip for now. You'll skip for now. Okay. So you, you, you don't want to even read from the screen? No, I'm 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 kind of writing and I'm going through the notes as well. So all right. Okay, Jama Monas. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. Tafa'altunna. Okay. Tafa'altunna. Okay. And uh, this one, Brother Javed. Infa'altunna. Very good. Istaf'altunna. Very good. Right. Okay. Now we are left with the last uh, first person. Right. So let's quickly take a look at that. And Siga. So Wahid Mudakkar, Wamonas Mutakallam. Now in this one, because this Siga number is Mutakallam, the first person, the Mudakkar and Monas is similar. Combined. So brother Khalid and Ijaz, you're back on. So you go ahead and brother Khalid. If Alto. If Alto. Right? This is Nasi. Very good. 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 And then the 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 jama and the dual is the same. So we will say Okay, good. Fa'alna. Okay. Fa'alna. Okay. Very good. Fa'alna. Very good. Okay, go ahead. Ifta'alna. Okay. Ifta'alna. Okay, good. Ifta'alna. Mashallah, very good. So then I have the same thing for mudari. Okay. But you got the idea that what we are trying to do here. So I'm going to leave that for you to do it on your own time. And I want to fast forward to this one here. Okay. Now, what is this? This is a Okay. So who's good at reading this? Can the brother uh, read it? Yeah, I can. I can read. That. Allahumma. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll let you read. Uh, brother Khalid, read the first line, inshallah. Yeah. Allahumma inna nasta'inuka wa nasta'ghfiruka wa nu'minu bika. Mm -hmm. Brother uh, Sister Nasreen. Wa nu'minu bika. Wa natawakkalu alayka wa nusni alayka al khaira. Wa nashkuru. Wa nashkuruka. Brother Ijaz. Wa la nakfuruka wa nakla'u wa natruku man yafjuruk. MashaAllah. Sister Lubna. Allahumma iyaka na'budu wa laka nusalli wa nasjudu wa ilayka. Very good, Brother uh, Murad. Wa ilayka nas'a wa nahfidu wa narju rahmataka wa nakhshya wa nakhshya azabaka. MashaAllah. Brother Javid. 
inna azabaka bil kuffari mulhik mashallah very good so let's look at the translation that oh allah we invoke you for help and beg you for forgiveness so allahumma nasta'inuka inna nasta'inuka okay now we will go so let's not worry about that right now but just look at the meaning first and believe in you nu'minu bika and have trust in you wa natawakkala right natawakkalu alayka right in the best way we can wa natawakkala natawakkalu alayka khaira i think there was a khaira here right? no khaira was uh, in the next one and we praise you in the best way we can and we thank you wa nashkuruka and we are not unrecognized to you wala nakfuruka and we renounce and turn away from the one who disobeys you wala wa nakhlau wa nut wa natruku may yafjuru okay aapne laf suna hai fajir ka yeah fajir is who the one who disbelieves this disobeys right yeah, disobeys yeah so and we are we are, is this sound like a covenant like some sort of a yes. agreement yes yes so we are giving some sort of a covenant to allah subhanahu wa taala that we are we we not going to do or we don't do such and such things mm. yes so every day after isha now if you are from india pakistan this is the dua kanot we read in the isha witr sala in the other uh, there is another dua kanot there are multiple world of dua kanot so maybe you do not do this one so if if some of you do not recognize this um, you can tell me about it Sister Nasin, are you familiar with this one? Yes. Yes. Okay. Everybody is familiar yes. with this one. This is the one yes. we read every day. Okay. Yes. So then we say, "Oh Allah, you alone we do worship, and we pray exclusively to you, and bow before you alone, and we hasten eagerly towards you, and we fear your severe punishment, and hope for your mercy, and we dread your torment. Indeed, the disbelievers shall incur your suffering." right yeah so we are doing this every day every night so i would like you to understand this with me in the light of the learning we have done are you excited to do that yeah or well, it doesn't sound too excited khalif <laughs> bhai <laughs> that's not excited enough <laughs> okay so i have right in Sorry for my uh, uh, tone so i have wrote it down in my own language um and i know it took some effort to do this so let's look at allahumma okay so the very first thing you say allahumma allahumma the easiest way to understand is mean ya allah okay any time you see this allahumma you can start with ya allah ya allah ya allah urdu mein kahenge o mere rab ya ay allah ठीक है आफ्टर दैट वी हैव इन नाउ आर वी फेमिलियर विद इन नस बट जस्ट दिस लुकिंग एट दिस इट डजेंट हेल्प अस इन सो आई वॉन्ट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू बिहाइंड सीन वट द इन न मीन सो इन न इज बेसिकली अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ इन नस नो Mm-hmm. Can you see it now? Then yeah. why? Yes, yes. Just when I look at inna, you didn't think about the nahnu. Did you think about the nahnu? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, some one person thinks that, but how many other people knew there was a nahnu in there? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, because of me, my, I, I understood that inna means we. Okay, so yeah. so Indeed, if you did that, that's great. But if you did not catch that, this inna means. we indeed we yes yeah now this is inna nahnu but i don't see inna nahnu here i only say inna yeah alif that it gets the noon alif yeah so what is the reason for this alif why not nahnu right so we going to talk about that in a second so this inna plus nahnu can also be written as inna na mm-hmm. Now, how many times we have seen in the Quran there is also in Nana? Yeah. 
No. Ya, inna na. Have you seen inna na in the Quran? Mm, I don't remember. Yes, maybe, next time maybe, you will maybe, find, you will see. Maybe inna there. Na. Yes, but inna na can also be written short. Inna. Inna. Okay. So as soon as I say inna and nahnu, do you think that it is part of a jumla? Yes. Yes. Okay. What is the rule that as soon as you see inna, you know that it is going to be a jumla ismiya, right? Because what is inna? Inna wa akhawatuha. Yeah, those are those. This is right? yes. Yeah. So yes. we have inna. We have anna. Yeah. Yeah. We also yeah. have lakinna. Yeah. Yeah. We have later. Remember all these? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, what is the Jumla Ismiya then? We need to go. This is review starting, by the way, right? Yes. So, what is Jumla Ismiya? We have a Muqtada. No. Yeah. We have a Khabar. Yeah. yeah. We know that Muqtada is Marifa. What does Marifa mean? It is a Rafa. proper noun. Proper noun. Yeah. And what is Rafa? That it is? The status of Rafa. It is the status of Rafa. Marfu. Right? Marfu. And Khabar is Nakira, which means it is a common noun. Mm. And it's also the status of Rafa. Rafa. But what happens to Jumla Ismiya when you introduce Inna? Okay. What it does, if you don't remember, as soon yes. as you do Inna, then the Muqtada is no longer muqtada. The inna Isma. takes over. So it will call ismu inna. Ismu inna. And khabar will be called khabro inna. And one other change it does, it changes the rafa of muqtada to nasab. Who remembered this rule? Yes. Yes. Okay. Brother Murad, you had a question earlier? No. no. Okay. Now, we have been talking about this all over the time or many times. As soon as the inna comes, we know that the next sequence of words will be a part of a jumla ismiya. So next time if you see inna, can you say that it is the jumla ismiya which is coming forward? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Then what happens to muqtada? It no longer called muqtada. It is called okay. ismu inna. Yeah. And what other change it does? It says, because I am the owner, Muqtada used to be Rafa, I am going to change into Nasab. Yes. Okay. So if you look at Nahnu, Nahnu is the Rafa version of no. Yes. What is the Nasab version? No. No. So you see why we have inna? No. Yeah. Yeah. It is not in nahnu. In nahnu ni, right? It's inna. Why that happened? Because as soon as you bring inna into the picture, the muqtada changed from rafa to nasab. So if nahnu was the muqtada, so nahnu isn't it the rafa version? Yes. Right? Yes. So then nahnu inna plus nahnu is inna plus na and it becomes inna na or simply inna okay this is in uh, brother Robert, this is in surah ali na rabbana okay. are, inna na amanna faqfil yes yes inna na amanna faqfil lana there is another one but so here can i call this ismu inna yes ismu inna yes okay now, after that, in a Jumla Ismiya, don't we need Khabar? Yes. Okay. So, in a Jumla Ismiya, can you have Muqtada? Can you also have Khabar 1, Khabar 2? Yeah. And many Khabar? Yes. Okay. So, before we move on, let's just simply think. Inna nasta'inuka wa nasta'gfiruka wa nu'minu bika. وَنَتَوَكَّلُوا عَلَيْكَ وَنُثْنِي عَلَيْكَ الْخَيْرِ وَنَشْكُكَ 
ولا نكفرك ونخلا ونترك من يهجر doesn't it seem like a lot of vowels in between yes so can i say this is khabar uh, inna ya khabar and is one then this is two this is three this is four this is five six seven eight nine yeah or nine basically this do you see the big picture here does this look like a one big nominal sentence yeah yes. sister rasmi yes alhamdulillah good now does that give you some bulks like in your head and oh yeah. i know this i know what jum life me is and i know how to make it now i'm applying to a long verse or something i recite every day does that make you feel happy yes alhamdulillah all right so the next, let's look at the next word nastainuka mm-hmm. yes now it is a question a question here sorry yes. brother abid yeah. so here we use inna but there are some places in the quran it says inna nahnu also comes with this one inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa nahnu yes, that is fine but that might have a different connotation so we are not talking about that right now but i try to explain to you why this is inna and i give you some reasoning for that so let's just stick with that for now and then we can there are always exceptions right Mm-hmm. so can we put postpone that because i have a lot oh, of okay okay sure sure yeah. yeah okay so any question on this that what we how we got the inna just this is the explanation just for inna by the way all this piece of paper i show you here just yeah. to explain to you what inna is and how i got inna okay any question on this please so no. inna makes the mubtada nasab that's why yes mm-hmm. and it it took over mm-hmm. because we know that you have to know that inna wa akhwatuha what are the key lessons we got that inna comes on a nor, uh, nominal sentence yeah. and when it comes on it takes over mubtada and khabar so it changes the name of mubtada and khabar to ismu inna and khabar inna also it changes the status of mubtada there are three main rules we got out of that okay once we knew that we looked at the identification we saw nahnu so as soon as i said inna nahnu has to be changed into nasab and for nasab i have na yeah yeah and i did not draw the big table here you all have copies of those tables so if you have not looked at again maybe you should look at it inshallah yeah okay so now next word is nastainu ka yeah yeah okay so if i if i hide something from you so that we can work on it together so first of all when you look at nastainu ka does it look like a fail yes yes okay the so first thing is is it madi or mudare mudare mudareenu so you saw the alamat mudare noon yes fourteen yes? siga Or siga number fourteen, right? And then you yeah. see the ka. Is that a pronoun? Yeah. Pronoun. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So then yeah. we are left with we left with the seen, the ta, the ain, the ya, and the noon. Nastainu. Right. Yeah. Now, did we just recently learn a bab where we saw istamsira? Istam. Yeah. We saw the alif, the seen, and the ta. addition to the fa the ain and the lam letter yeah yeah what was the name of that bab istafal istafala istafal right so is nastainu and ka is separate nastainu ka yeah yes yeah? okay so if this is bab istafal we know there are three additional root letter the alif the seen and the ta then do we have the what is the uh, madi pattern for uh, istafal istafala and yastafilu yes yastafilu right yes. then if if i look at the uh, the root letters in if if i if i separate the uh, noon seen and ta because that is part of the uh, additional letters 
what is my ain kalima or fa kalima ain ain and the ya kalima ya and then the lam kalima no no remember we did this exercise yeah, we, that how can we create extract the root letters mm. what are we only concerned about we are only concerned about the fa and the lam the rest of the letters are additional so we need to know the madhi pattern which is istaf ala yastaf ilu okay so this was the but remember as soon as we saw the is it possible that it, it would have been a wow when we look at the weak letters do you know that the weak letters can change into each other yes yes yes, yes. so it might Make you think, because oh, if, if this is a weak verb example, because we saw the ya in there, and we also see the kasra before, is it possible that it is after the application of the rules, and there was supposed to be a wow? Wow, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So when we check with the dictionary, we found out the root words are ain, wow, and no, no, awana. Okay. And aun or awana means to help. Yes. Yeah. So if you know the root words and ain, wow, and noon, then you are going to substitute that into istaf ala. So it will become istawana. Right. Yeah. Istawana. Una. Istaw. Istawana. Right. Yeah. Yes. Ta vino. Yes. Then didn't I just tell you that? You can apply the rules of ajwaf because even though it's mazi mazid p, but the root letters fa and alam is the same. Mm -hmm. So when you apply the rules, you are going to change the haraka, and you give the ayn the haraka of fatha, because what is the haraka on the wow? Fatha. fatha. So the rule is if there is a sakina, you give the haraka to that. So the moment you give haraka to ain, it becomes fatha. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. Now, yeah. what is the letter corresponding to fatha? Alif. Alif. So that wow change into alif. Alif. So the madhi is istaana. Right. Istaana. And what about the the mudare? Yasta e. Yasta e. Because what was the haraka on wow? Kasra. So the kasra will go to the ain. It become e. Mm -hmm. And what is the letter corresponding to kasra? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So you see now why we first thought it was ain ya noon because we were looking at nastainu. Right. Okay. But when we really applied the rule of the ajwaf, we found out it is originally was a wow here. Wow. Is that making sense? Yeah. Yeah. And and is this amazing or not? That how much we can understand from this? Yes. yes okay. All right. So then, where else have you seen nastainu? It's Surah Fatiha. Okay. So look what we have learned so far. From here, nastainu ka, we figured out that is Baba Istafal. So is this Mazi Mazid or Mazi uh, Mazid fee or Salasi Mujarrat? Is it Salasi Mazid? Salasi Mazid fi. Salasi Mazid fi. Okay, and we learned that this is Siga number fourteen. <clears throat> yes. Yes. <clears throat> now, if this is a fail, <clears throat> so what do we need about fail? Is there a file in there? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what is the file in Siga number fourteen? No. 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 <laughs> No, no. Right? Yeah. So, do we have a fail? Yes. Yes. Do we have a file? Yes. And do we have the maful? Yes. Yes. So we have a jumla. Failure. And what is the Baba Istafal characteristic? We are seeking, we are asking for something. Istaghfira. What are we talking about? Makfira. We are asking for forgiveness. Right? So nastainu ka matlab hota hai to seek help and we seek help from you. you. 
Remember that yeah. uh, translation we just looked at? Yes. Yeah. I can move my picture out of the way. Look at this. We invoke you for help. There is a is there a difference between invoking and seeking? Similar my meaning, right? Same, same. We ask you for help, we invoke you for help, we seek you for help, right? Or we seek help. Are we clear? Are we good on this? Brother yes. Javi? Yeah. Brother Javi? Yes, yes. Okay. So if I go back here, so over here is Nastainu ka. Is it a jumla failure? Yes. And that jumla failure as a unit, which is a part of a fail and a file and a maful, it becomes khabro inna number one. Any questions on this? Take a look again. Think about it. Let me know if you have any questions. So from Nasta Inuka, you got a full Jumla family. And, and you know the different parts of it. You first of all found out what kind of Bab is this? What are the root letters? Then you ponder on the root letters. You saw the weak letter. You said, mm, is there any weak letter or weak verb rule applied here? You consulted with the dictionary. You end up finding out the root letters were Ain, Wow, and Noon. Then you did the math. You took the Madi, Mudare, you put it in there, and then you found out, oh, this is Ajwaf. So you apply the rule of Ajwaf, and you got Istaana, Yastainu. Is Yastainu the third, uh, first Siga for Mudare? Yes. 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 And Nastainu is the 14th. 14th. Yeah. 14th. So we also learned that those tables with the 14 variations are very, very important. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So let's look at the next one. What is this? Wa nastaghfiruka. Is nastainuka wa nastaghfiruka sound similar? Similar. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. Okay. So am I going to do a lot of work there? No. 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 I know that this is Babe Istifal. Yes. Right? What are the root letters? Wafara. Right? Now, is there any weak letter? No. 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 So it's a sahi afwal, right? Do I need to worry yeah. about the, the rules of uh, ajwa or motal? No. no. Okay. So we know that this is the siga number 14, right? Ka is the zamir. So this is the fail, file, and maful. File and maful. Juba failia. Failia. Okay. How do I how do I guard the istaghfira and yastaghfiru? I put it into into istafala yastafilu or yastafil. Yeah. Now the, the exercise we just did earlier when I did the siga and you you read read out loud. Do you remember this istafala siga number one? Yeah. Madi yeah. for istafal. Istafal. Yes. Mm. So you see why that table is important. Yes. Why that you need to know that. And those variations you see in the Quran, when you say istaghfira, that you mean I, he seek forgiveness. Nastaghfira, we seek forgiveness. Tastaghfira, you seek forgiveness. Tastaghfiri, she seeks forgiveness. Yeah? Yes. You see what I'm saying? Based on the gender and the person, you know whether it's a male or it's a female. Is it a singular male? Singular female is it dual male, dual female, or is it plural male or female? Making sense? Yes. Is that yes. opening your mind a little bit further? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So we got Nastaghfiruka out of the way. Yeah. So is this Jumla Feliya? Yes. Now, so is this is a small jumla failure. So it is not a singular word. It is a combination of fail, file, and mafool. Agree? Yeah. Okay. What is the next one? Wanu minu bika. Yeah. Yeah. What we comes to your mind here? Yeah, the root letter of Alif Mimenun. We believe in you. 
First of all, the yeah. translation is yeah. Yeah, Allahumma, in O oh Allah, inna, indeed we nasta'inuka, seek you or ask you for help. Wa nasta'firuka, yeah. and we also seek forgiveness from forgiveness. Yes, not from you. Wa nu'minu, and we believe in you. In you. Okay, good. So if that's the case, then look at the nu'minu part. Okay. But with Nu'minu, we also have Ika. What is the B here? Is it a Lama Jara? Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now think about this. Yeah, we didn't say Nastakhiru Kabika. Did we say Nastakhiru Kabika? No. Why? Because when we say Nu'minu, when we say we be believe, we believe, then you must have a need to tell believe in what? But in you, and that's why okay. this jar majroot is present because when you say no, me no, I believe, then you say, I believe in what, yeah, for mm -hmm. that reason, you have to say bika in mm -hmm. you, right? So, yeah. Yeah. this bika is jar majroot, right? Mm -hmm. And the no, me no is fail plus file. Now, no, yeah. me no is siga number 14, yes, yes, so what is the file? Aman, no, 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 sorry. Right? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now we think about what is nu minu. So if we do the, the math or if we look at the dictionary, we're going to have turn out is Bab if al. If al. Are we familiar with Bab if al? Yes. 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 Okay. And the pattern we have is Aslama. Okay. And when we do the math, we may end up in a Hamza. And uh, then we will apply the rule of, uh, you know, Hamza, and then we'll get Nu'minu. Okay, so we have done this in the past, so I don't want to spend too much time on it. But do you get the big picture? Yeah. Yes. If you look at Nu'minu Bika, you know that this is the Harfi Ataf, is continuing from the previous words. Nu'minu is fail plus file. Mm -hmm. Bika is Jar Majroon, yeah. because this is the meal, right? And this is the Zameer of Halat Ja. Yeah? yeah. Then we know that Jar Majroor becomes Mutalik in the Khabar. No, no, Mutalik fail because this is not Jumla Ismir. So this together oh, yeah. becomes Jumla Failure. Failure. Right? So if this is the case, then this is also Jumla Failure. Khabar. Khabroinna number three. So think about this next one. When natawakkalu alaik. Natawakkal is tawakkal, right? Yeah. Tawakkal is to have trust in somebody. Yes. Yeah. And you, for like Numina, do you also need to know trust in what? Yes. Yes. Alaika. So, so alaika in you. Yeah. Okay. Now before I show you this, do we see a shadda on the calf here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it is it is it salasi mujarad or salasi mazid? Salasi mujarad. Uh, it's, it's fee. So if yeah. we look at wanatawakkalu alaika, do we think of bab tafa ulu? Yes. Did we look at bab tafa ulu? Yes. Yes. Right. So as soon as you you know the bab, what are the root words? Wow, kaf, lam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, a weak letter. Yes. Yes. Misal. Misal. Right. Yeah. And is matulul fa. Yeah. Yes. Is in the position of fa letter, right? Yes. yes. And the name is nital. Yes. Yes. So we we'll look at this. Same thing. Natavakalu. Siga number 14. 14. 14. 14. To fail, file is Nahnu. Because what is happening here? When we are making this dua, we are making as a V, V, V. Right? All the, the dua is Allahumma inna nasta inuka wa nasta firuka. Right? We are making a collective dua. Yeah? So, mm -hmm. is it alaika jar majru? Yes. So, is it mutalli? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, wakalu alaika. Right? Now, do we know from Bab Tafaul and Fala that we need a Maful? 
we need a fail al mutaddi and not fail al azim okay remember because this mutallik is sort of maful bihi yes because we need an additional bika here and alaika here because when mm-hmm. you say no minu the sentence is not complete i believe now i'm waiting for you to say believe in what you say bika i mm-hmm. i say i trust then you are waiting what do you trust or how, trust in what when you say alaika is that making sense yeah so for certain words you need to add the the prepositions yeah yep okay good any question on this no thank you okay so javed you've been very quiet so any question on this are you following this yes alhamdulillah okay okay, yeah. okay then who can tell me what is nusni mean wa nusni any any volunteers everybody is quiet it's we okay. okay think don't don't put too much stress on you <laughs> you start your salah what is the what is the first thing you say after allah akbar sana 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 yeah so nusni is tarif yeah. praise praise we praise um, you yeah yeah alayka so when you say i praise or we praise are you forced to tell me praise what yeah or what do you praise alayka alayka alkhair right but alkhaira alkhaira mean the best Better, praise best. Yeah. the best alkhaira yeah right so what are we saying to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allahumma inna nasta'inuka wa nastaghfiruka wa nu'minu bika wa natawakkalu alayka and then we are also telling him wa nusni alaykal khair and we praise you the best praise yeah yeah so if that's the case do we need to find out what is the nusni means yeah wa nusni alaykal khair is also from bab if alum aslama yusmi yes then there is the tha letter tha noon and ya is there a ya in the lam position yeah. yes mutalul yes. lam and it is naqis mm-hmm. if you remember the rules of naqis then it will become asnana yusmi yes. now in we in naqis we knew when there is a kasra before the ya the ya become sakin mm-hmm. so asna yusni ya yeah? mm-hmm. Now you yes. see they praise yes nusni we praise yes yeah. so we praise alaykal khaira so alayka is jar majrur yes so we have the fail which is nusni fail is nahnu <laughs> alayka is jar majrur which is mutallik al khaira is maf'ul why because nasab is al khaira is nasab right Yes. Okay. Sister Lubna, are you with us so far? Yes, Lubna? I am. Yes, okay. yes. So I am. Since you may be become quiet, so I thought I should check on you. Uh, so are we good with this? One usni alaik al khair. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, what are we trying to do here? Are we just trying to do this just for the sake of doing it, or also we are looking at that the information we have collected in the last ten session? they are pretty applicable in a lot of positions a lot of places yes 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 okay great so what is the next thing vanashkuru yeah yeah so what is the meaning of vanashkuru ka and we and we thank you we thank you right so if we look at nashkuru ka do you see any additional words here ka hmm ka is pronoun No, do you see any additional letters other than the no, three? No, no, no. So we know that this is Salasi Mujarrat. Salasi Mujarrat, right? And we know that this ka is the dhamir, 
Right? And the noon is the Alamat Mudare. Oh, yeah. In, in Salasi Mujarat, only two sigas in Mudare, which has the Dhamma on the last letter. Yansuru, Yakuru. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So when we see Nashkuruka, do we say we thank you? Yes. So yes. we found out, or it's a rule that Karuma Yakrumu only is. Mostly is fail lazim. Okay. In fail lazim, do we need the maful? No. No. So it cannot be from karuma yakruma. It okay. is from bab nasara yansuri. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that is why because there is the maful here ka. So we say this is from bab nasara yansuru fail mutaaddi. And you you thank someone. So you are basically when you say you thank. You need to thank someone, right? Not just yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So it is fail, file plus mafool. Agree? Yeah. This is mafool. Yes. And this is the harfi atav. Nashkuru is the alamat is we. What is the nahnu here? File is? Nahnu. 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 And we thank you. Yeah? Yes. yes. Okay, then what is the next word? Wala nakfura. Okay. Nakfuru, if we say kafara, kafara yeah. means disbelief. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is the meaning of kafara? Yeah, Somebody, a disbeliever, disbeliever, kufur. right? Kufur. Or denial. But can we say, and we do not disbelieve? Yes. yes. It yes. Make, no, no, it doesn't make sense. Well, uh, no. With the, first of all, yeah, we say, yeah, we say one, you know, so we said, yeah, so uh, no, 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 just, just let me finish so that you understand. First of all, it's a negative sentence, mm -hmm. and we do not, if I, if I do the translation, it will say, and we do not disbelieve in you, yes. But that doesn't make sense here. Yeah, because with, it, uh, with the Nashkuruka, there should be opposite of the shukar, yes. Which so is, when which we say is that, uh, yeah. So, you know, Urdu mem kehte kufran in no, yeah. yeah. Ji. What is the meaning of kufran in minute? That you are ungrateful. Ungrateful. Yes. If shukru ka is grateful, then the grateful. opposite will be <coughs> ungrateful. 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 Right? So, you cannot translate that, okay, we dis and we do not disbelieve in you. I mean, it, it makes sense literally, but in this context, it is not the best translation. Right? So, we are saying we nashkuru ka, we are grateful to you, and we are not this this word ungrateful to you. Na for money. Na for money. So, Jani, I'm sugar karte or na sugar in a karte. Urdu mera me bulu. Uzada sense na. Aka sugar da karte or na sugar in a karte. Right? So, Nakfuruka. Can somebody tell me what will be the Nakfuruka then? Is it a Sahi or Gar Sahi? It's Sahi. Do we need to worry about the big letters? No. No. So do we have a fail, file, and maful? Yes. Okay. So this is the maful. Nahnu is file. File. Yeah. Okay, then we have Nakhla'u. Nakhla'u. Okay. Nakhla'u means, just say Urdu me kate na khula. Khula. What is khula? Yes, separate. Separation. Separate. Alayta karna. Alayta karna. Yeah. Okay. So, wa nakhla'u, do we have a maful here? No. No. Not yet. Not yet. Right? We only have Nakhlau. Yeah. To separate, to yeah. stay away. Yeah. What are the root letters? Nathruka is also from Bab Nasara. Taraka. 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 Taraka means Chordena to go it. Tarkarna. Tarakarna, right? So it's also file and file. We still don't have the mafool. Yes. yes. So we are saying that we stay from or we separate ourselves from and we quit 
बट नाउ द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस इज मई यफ जुरुक तो इज इट मई बिकॉज ऑफ द या एम सेइंग मई राइट इज इट मन राइट मन इज मन इसमें मौसूल इसमें मौसूल यस when we have ismi mausool we need to find sila 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 yes. and yeah. sila is normally a verbal sentence yes yes so look at that yaf juru ka is it fail file mafool and mafool yes, yes. Yeah. the same thing as nakfuru ka yeah right so mm-hmm. yaf juru ka bab nasara fa jara Good. so the the mafool is the ka and the file is nahnu and this is a jumla failia and that becomes sila for ismi mausool yes and then hence we get our this sentence wa nakhlau wa nutru natruka mai yafjuru so remember there was no mafool here and no mafool here yes this becomes the combined mafool for both of them yeah what do we do we stay away from and we quit from the one who is fajir 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 so if we go back to the uh, translation this time look at this o oh allah we invoke you for help and beg you for forgiveness and believe in you and have trust in you nastainuka wa nakfuruka nastaghfiruka wa nu'minu wa natawakkalu wanusni and we praise you in the best way al khaira we can in the we praise you in the best way we can wanashkuruka and we thank you and we are not unrecognized to you that's a, not a good translation okay so that is not very good translation so we thank you and we do not we are not ungrateful to you and we renounce nakhlau we stay away we separate ourselves when natruku turn away natruku tarak karna quit karna we turn away from the who disobeys you yaf juru ka fajara kya hota hai aadna ke liye right lekin hum jab use karte hain fajir fajir ka matlab hota hai the person who disobeys Pasik and Fajr. There are two words. Pasik right? and Fajr. Yeah. Okay. So we stay. Uh, we announce. We nakhlau. We take it from whom? From that person who is not your friend. And we take it from him. We take it from our relationship. Take it from him. 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 Yes, I have a question, Brother Abir. Yes. yes. Is there a grammatical significance for natruku having a damma on the kaf? Oh, so natruku, when we looked at it, is oh, from bab nasara. Yes, I missed it. Sorry. Right. So yeah, nasara. So yeah, that's why we have. So see, all of these things. Oh, okay. Mashallah, when you now look at it, and I have over and over, we have looked at this information. Okay. So now. It, just to summarize this, uh, this exercise we just did. If you look at this information here, see this one, this tool, what it does for us, it uh, anything we look at, like for example, nastai, right? Uh, before I do that, let me change the translation to English, okay? And okay. look, we all can also change it to al mushaf. Now, when I do that. look how nicely that information has changed uh the the wording has changed the the, the writing style has changed yes it's more like a, the saudi quran yeah so if you look at nastainu and what we have done on the piece of paper i have just shown you this over here mm. you see this yes. so if i i mean i'm not trying to answer your question i think i already answered your question but Just I'm not. You, sorry, I was distracted. Maybe for yeah, a second. Yeah, just to give you the context of like this paper I have done. Look, oh, okay. this paper I have done. This yeah. is called the cheat sheet, right? Because yeah. this is the homework, or this is the work I have done to reach my conclusion. That what is nastainu coming? This is this is my recipe 
to decipher nastainu ka okay yeah? i had to find out okay what is my ba okay found out what is what are the root letters so then i have to be clear about the root letter oh there is yeah. a ya so i think be, I, i missed the part that ka was part of the root letter and not not, uh, not a problem not part of summary anyways yeah. so the work i have done on this piece of paper for you the easiest is close to this yeah when you want to find out what is the root letters yes what is the ba yes what is the example sentence to look at and what is this is jama muzakkar active voice first person you get a lot of information from this one unit right yes istana yastainu if you look at my piece of paper istana yastainu how did i do that i found out what is my madi what is my mudari then i knew my root letters so i applied exactly here in in step number 1 then step number 2 i applied the rules of ajwab and then i got istana yastainu versus over here you got the the modified version right off the bat you you see what i'm saying yes okay so you need to look at these tools inshallah then this will help you and this tool also but since duai kanut is not from the quran mm-hmm. so i could not find something in quran corpus to show you that okay look this is this but we draw our own map on a piece of paper so what i did and i'm giving you an idea that you need to just on your own i write it down and then i took one word i went on a sing- separate piece of paper and i did all the working did i had room to do all of this over here no if i had done all of that over here it's all mixed up so i did it on a separate piece of paper and i said nastainu ka is jumla failia why is it jumla failia you look at this piece of paper and then this is how you decipher that mm. is that making sense yes alhamdulillah jazakallah khair okay good so with this we are going to take our break yes and but before we do that just give me a quick uh 10 second feedback about this this step or this process we just did how do you feel about this alhamdulillah alhamdulillah it, it, it was very you know uh, informative and it's how to break up the each uh, sentence each right. word actually each word each word so you you learned a way of how you are going to be a and, an analysis or you and, under, and, and understand that it's meaning too simultaneously yes. so and and does that also give you the the good feeling that the the all the rules you have learned that we have pretty much applied most of them and the recent recent study we did on the different verbs those are used very quickly does that give you the feeling that they are used quite a bit yes yes and the weak letters or the weak words how many how many time they get applied in the verses or these uh, sentences mm-hmm. yes yeah alhamdulillah alhamdulillah so yeah. with this let's say right now is 11:18 uh what about we take a short break and uh, we come back at uh, 11:25 Yeah, inshallah let's think a little bit
السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ reflect uh we will feel we should feel very very happy that this uh, he allowed us to do this and we've been the torch bearer or the people who are um the, you know moving forward with this now i share with you an event happened yesterday with me in my office um i i was in the lobby and this one brother he looked like he was from uh, bangladesh it seems like a muslim brother and i was coming back from juma friday prayer so he saw me in the lobby and he said to me assalam alaikum and so i thought he recognized maybe from my beard or my look that i'm a muslim so i said wa alaikum salam and then just realizing that uh, you know how you would say okay i said uh, i am abid just to introduce myself and guess what he said to me he said oh i know you you yeah you you and i said oh how come you know me he said i follow you in the youtube your arabic class on saturday subhanallah right mashallah and i i never met this brother before in my life and he was uh, on working on one of the floors in the same building i am working so when i told him my name he said i know you already so don't don't introduce yourself so so i felt really thankful to allah subhanahu wa taala that even though uh we are doing in a in a very limited or in a, in our mind we think that we are the only one who are part of this effort but there are a lot of unseen people who might be benefiting from it and it all because of our combined effort does that make you feel happy indeed indeed so normally i would like to get your feedback uh on the and the last class and i still want to do that but i feel that we should renew our connection with the quran and the verses i shared with you they have some deep meaning so i just want to maybe next 10 15 minutes just go over those meaning with you and benefit from uh, you know with our group and company and make dua that allah subhanahu wa taala make us among this group and accept this effort from us and with his own mercy alone is is fadl and his mercy alone uh, make us among this group we're going to just read about it right now are we ready to do that yes inshallah so auz billahi minash shaitani rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim allazina yufuna bi ahdillahi wa la yanquduna al misaqa okay so the very first thing i feel happiness is that that alhamdulillah i'm able to recognize all of these words the first impression is i am able to recognize in the second impression when i focus a little bit harder i also know the meaning of them yeah yeah and when i'm saying i basically i should say we because i at this point i believe you are pretty much on the same level inshallah and then i also on the third stare or third focus i feel that i already know the meaning of the words Do you guys join you know share this feeling with me do you feel the same way alhamdulillah yeah so allazina yufuna those who fulfill the ahdillah the covenant of allah mudaf mudafun alayh wala yanquduna wala and not yanquduna right al misaqa the contract the full be he wala yanquduna al misaqa fail file maful bihi why al misaqa is in the status of nasab is that you see how the the mind is now processing this information not only looking for translation not only looking for you know the 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 meaning but also i know who is who yanquduna they why ya alamat mudar third person kuduna male uh, masculine plural almisaka 
so those who fulfill the covenant of allah and do not break the contract who are those people allah subhanahu wa taala is trying to or he's not trying he's telling us the characteristics of his people and then eventually he will tell us what they're going to get so this this is the the uh, road map or a list of characteristics his certain people have and we want to be among that group so that is the one feeling we want to get out of this jo khuda ke ahad ko pura karte hain aur ikrar ko nahi todte so we want to be among this group right do we yes okay. so, then the next level is you can go ahead and you can say okay what is yufuna yufuna is from wafa wafa aur aufa ya urdu mein wafa kehte hain na from aslama yuslimu yufuna aufa yufi aufi mufin mau fan ifa un wada ifa kar ifa ahad ifa ahad okay so somehow it, it connects to wafa also right mm-hmm. so now you know more information about that okay similarly yan kuduna todne se noon kaf dal from bab nasara nakada yan kudu un kud na kidun man kud ya they break so far with me guys yes so the so first characteristics is that those are the people who fulfill the covenant of allah and they do not break the contract what else they do wallazina yasiluna ma amara allah bihi and those who join yasiluna what has been commanded by allah for it ay yusala wa yakhshawna rabbahum wa yakhafuna su'al hisab they do like they do the uh, amr al maruf the way it's supposed to be done bihi ay yusala wa yakhshawna rabbahum and they fear their lord wa yakhafuna su'al hisab from the evil of their account su is what evil <laughs> right so yeah. join those who join that which allah has ordered to be joined and fear their lord and are afraid of the evil of their account yani unhe apne hisab se dar lagta hai ki kal ko kya hoga aur jin rishta hai karabat ke jode rakhne ka khuda ne hukm diya hai inko jode rakhte hain aur apne parwardigar se darte rehte hain और बुरे हिसाब से खौफ रखते हैं यू फॉलो हियर इन बिटवीन द लाइन अल्लाह इज़ टॉकिंग अबाउट इफ यू लुक एट द तफसीर रिश्ते मीन द रिलेटिव्स दे आर कंसर्न अबाउट देयर रिलेशंस बिकॉज दे दे कीप देम दे कीप द रिलेशनशिप इवन दो दे आर नॉट हैप्पी or there are people who are making their life miserable but just because allah subhanahu wa taala said that you have to keep this rahmi rishte they are trying to fulfill that covenant as well you get that in the nutshell what i'm trying to say here yeah, yeah. so we want to be among that those people then what else wal ladina sabaru sabaru tiqa wajhi rabbihim and those who are patient ibtiqa seeking the face of their lord and they are doing all this patiently why they're praying every time they are going through the hardship they are still doing what they don't feel like doing but they are doing it because they are patient they are they're trying to seek the pleasure of their lord and what else they do wa aqamu salah and they establish the prayer wa anfaqu mimma razaqnahum and spend from what we have provided them sirran secretly wa alaniyatun and publicly wa yadraun bil hasanati sayya and they repel the good with the evil the evil with the, the evil with the good <laughs> yes and they repel the evil with the good ulaika lahum uqbadar for those is the attainment of the final home now i'm not going into a lot of detail but is this all of these things making sense i have you seen or these uh, translation is coming to you while i'm reading it yeah yeah right 
So we say, and those who are patient, seeking the countenance of their Lord and establish prayer and spend from what we have provided for them secretly and publicly and prevent evil with good. Those will have the good consequence of this home. Or jo parvardigar ki khushnudi, pleasure, hasil karne ke liye masaye par, masaye mean on the trials, on the, 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 the problems they have. Sabar karte hain, or namaz karte hain, or jo maal hamne unko diya hai, isme se poshida, or zahir kharach karte hain, or neki se burai dur karte hain. Yehi log hain, jin ke liye akbat ka ghar hai. So far, so good. Alhamdulillah. Do you, Alhamdulillah. Find, do you find that in some category, maybe not in the perfect way, but we are part of this group? Yes. yes. Alhamdulillah. May Allah make us from that. And, and may Allah keep us steadfast, right? I mean, so right now, Inshallah. Verses with the understanding and with a different context and feeling, Inshallah, these, these verses will sink deeper in our hearts. And we will get our iman will definitely increase by reading these verses. Yes, because now we are not only reading the 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 the, 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 the letters and the words, we also understand the meaning of them. Now the reward, what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will give us or give these people because of these characteristics, He explained above. Jannatun, Jannatun adnin adni yadhulunaha. وَمَنْ سَلَحَ مِنْ آبَائِهِمْ وَأَزْوَاجِهِمْ وَدُرِّيَاتِهِمْ So what will happen? They will have gardens of Eden. Eden means forever, right? Mm -hmm. the, the never ending. يَدْ خُلُونَهَا They will enter them. So they themselves, the person who, the man or woman, man or the uh, woman who's been possessor of the characteristics above, they will enter these gardens. Not only them, Allah SWT says, وَمَنْ سَلَحَ And whoever were righteous. Is Saleh, what is Saleh? Righteous. righteous. So is Salaha from righteousness? Yes. 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 So Salaha is the verb. But Saleh is the, is the fire. Yes. مِنْ آبَائِهِمْ Among their fathers. Meaning father, grandfather, grand, grand grandfather. Ancestors. Him and their spouses. Yes. him and their offsprings. Yes. Now, if you think about it, this chain is a very long chain. This is not just between like maybe one or two generations. It is generation after generation. So if my great, 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 great grandfather did something nice when he was alive, if he was, or if he or she or anybody from my family in my ancestors, Whatever good they have done, and if they were, if they were the possessor of these characteristics, we will be benefiting from them till the end of time, and even in the day of Akhirah. Yeah. So they will be entered garden, not only them, but their fathers, whoever is righteous, azwajihim wa durriyatihim. Hadrat Nuh alayhi salam, when he argued to Allah subhanahu wa taala about his son, remember the son who drowned. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, Noah alayhi salam complained or sort of said, uh, pleaded to him that he's my family. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him what? No, he's not your family. He's amalun ghairi saleh. His deeds are not righteous. And don't be a fool. Don't be an illiterate person. Don't be the jahileen. Didn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala scold it? Noah alayhi salam by saying yeah. that no. He's not your family because his actions are not righteous. And don't be a jahil asking me what you don't know. Yes? Yeah. But Nuh alayhi salam was acting out of love for his kids. Son. Whether he was a kafir or not, a father is a father. Mm. Right? Similarly, Rasulullah sallallahu said to his women or his family that you know so and so don't just rely on me that I am your relative so you will enter Jannah because you are related to me. No. We all need to work hard. Yeah. So when we are doing all these characteristics, do we need to work on our families 
so that we can be together in jannah yes do we need to worry about our surroundings do we need to worry about our people who we deal with interact with yes. from our family yes. and our community yes. so that we yes. all end up in jannah together yeah okay so now what happens to these people once they enter jannah wal malaikatu yadkhuluna alayhi min kulli bab and the angel will enter upon them from every gate now how many gates of jannah we know eight eight so from each door malaika will be rushing coming upon them from every door to take them say hey, enter from here enter from here now can you visualize that 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 if we get lucky enough to be among that group that the angel are saying hey please enter from this gate or from or you are welcome to this gate we are welcome to all eight gates yeah subhan so, yani so i don't know about you guys but when i am reading it now these verses even though we have read it many times but every time we do this it's a different feeling it's a different uh, tingling in the heart it's a different feeling altogether right and it, it whether you like it or not it does uplift your iman it does uplift you maybe you're going through a lot of hardship but reading these verses and understanding them will always uplift you yeah because yeah. we all go through these struggles we always have trials sometimes small sometimes big but we the bottom line is we have to be patient all the time right yani then the what is the the urdu translation for this yani hamesha rehne wale adnin is hamesha rehne ke baghat jin mein wo dakhil honge aur unke baap dada aur biwiyon aur aulad mein se jo neku kar honge jo righteous honge wo bhi bahisht yani jannat mein jayenge aur farishte bahisht ke har darwaze se unke paas aayenge so far so good to be kya kahenge unko salamun alaikum salamun alaikum bima sabartu peace be upon you for what you patiently endured fa ni'ma ukbadar okay and excellent is the final attainment of the home so they will come from each door congratulate them and they'll say peace be upon you for what you have patiently endured and excellent is the final home now if if we end up in jannah do you think we will have any more complaints or we would say no. that no is this no. is this is it only complaint would be that we wasted some time no. so that Lot is the time. best result we can attain so a momin once he entered inside the gates of jannah there is no exiting there is no turning there is no death so that is a true success until and un- unless that happens we should be worried but once that we have accomplished that then we are very less agree yeah aur kahenge tum par rehmat ho peace is rehmat to ye tumhari sabit kadmi sabit kadmi mean you are patient you are steadfast ka badla hai badla mean is the return aur aqabat the final aqabat mean aakhri ghar khub ghar hai khub mean is an excellent destination ab uske opposite kya hai Mm-hmm. these were the characteristics of the people now look at the opposite group wal lazina yan kuduna and the and those who break the covenant of allah over there was wal lazina la yan kuduna remember yeah yeah wale mein la yan kuduna that was a negative over here is the positive yan kuduna they break the covenant of allah mim badi misakihi after they yes, have said they have signed the contract with allah they are breaking it afterwards yes yeah, and what else yeah. they doing wa yaqtauna ma amara allah bihi ay yusala similar wording but here over there was la 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 yaqtauna la yanquduna here is the positive wa yaqtauna and sever what allah has commanded to be joined right wa yufsiduna fil ardi and what else they do and they spread corruption in the earth <coughs> for them ulaika lahumul la'natu wa lahum su'ud dar over kya tha su yahan pe kya tha ye tha su al hisab right 
over here, then what will, because of this characteristic, where they, the, those who break the covenant of Allah after contracting it and sever that which Allah has ordered to be joined and spread corruption on earth, for them is the curse, Lana. And they will have the worst home. What is the worst home? Jahannam. اور جو لوگ خدا سے عہد واسق کر کے اس کو توڑ ڈالتے ہیں اور رشتہ ہائی کرابت کے جوڑے رکھنے کا خدا نے جو حکم دیا ہے ان کو قطع کرتے ہیں یعنی دے بریک دا رحمی رشتے اور ریلیشن اور دے کریپٹ دے ملک میں فساد کرتے ہیں اینڈ دے آر آلویز ایکسپریڈنگ کرپشن اور دے کریٹنگ فتنا ایسوں پر لانت ہے اور ان کے لیے گھر بھی برا ہے No. 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 So, inshallah, we can keep going, but in the, in the interest of time, and I want to hear a little bit from you, I'll stop here with the feeling that with the dua that Ya Allah accept all what we have done for your sake, make our intentions sincere, whatever mistakes we have made, please forgive us, and increase us in knowledge, and make this knowledge a source of guidance for us. also a source of freedom from Jahannam and a source of your pleasure. And everybody who has gone through whatever hardships to, to come to these classes and whatever other challenges they had, may Allah accept it from all of us and make us among this group, inshallah. Ameen. Ameen. Okay. So with this, we still have a, a good 15 minutes. So I'm going to start with uh, uh, Sister Lubna, inshallah. So, so Lubna, if you want to give us uh, your feedback uh, and, and how you feel and where you want to be in the, in the next, uh, like, do we want to continue? And if you want to continue, what is your morale and what will be your message for everyone? And how, you, how do you feel with your connection with the Quran at the moment, inshallah? If you can please help us with this. Yeah, Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Wa alaikum, assalam. So, actually, I feel so good. The, and it's a kind of a addiction to me now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's indeed. So I, when I, I'm not doing it, I mm-hmm. feel I'm missing something. Mm-hmm. So that's everybody great. is, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell everyone, you will feel that you are not uh, learning anything, but actually you are. So be mm-hmm. connected with this one. And but doing once, twice, three times, just keep on doing it. Finally, mm-hmm. you will be so connected it, and you will feel like it's a, it's an addiction. Mm-hmm. That's correct. So, I totally agree with you, Sister Lubna. I, I feel yeah. the same way. And that is why I'm so pushy yeah. about it. Some yeah, people no, it is. happy with me. Like they might and say that I'm really pushy about it, but if I, I wish I can share what I feel with them. Yeah, this that, that is heart, true. Then, They, they will yeah, see why, why I push for this, right? Inshallah. Yes, Shabbat yes. Ahead. Same thing. You, you sort of told uh, what is in my heart, mashallah. Jazakallah mm-hmm. khair. Uh, Brother Ijaz, quickly, if you want to share your feelings with us quickly. Yes, Brother um, uh, Abit, uh, I'm very excited and I'm thankful to you that we learned a lot and uh, that increases our understanding and comprehension of Quran, inshallah, we will continue to make more effort to understand and uh, make our understanding of Quran better. And inshallah, we will try to continue this with our families and with our friends as well, inshallah. Sister Nasreen. Yes, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I, uh, I run out of words and alhamdulillah this class, like you all have said already, it is addictive and uh, it feels amiss when you're not part of this. Even when I can't participate, I have it in my ear when I'm really busy. Um, and alhamdulillah Allah has allowed us to be part of this group and learn. One thing I have taken away from this year is how important it is to, to know that what huge changes happen with just slight mispronunciations. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in my circle, it was, oh, Allah is forgiving, you know, Allah is forgiving. If I mispronounce it a little bit, it's okay. This is this was coming from a, people who had full uh, 
the faculty of understanding, hearing, listening that Allah had given all of us. So mm. if this is allowed us, given to us through Allah's mercy, then why don't we use these faculties to improve right. the knowledge that Allah has given us, to improve our pronunciations and understanding of, of the Quran, which is our, our guide. So right. this is something I took away from this year, actually. SubhanAllah, it was uh, eye-opening, really. Mashallah. No, mashallah, that's very good and I'm very happy. Now, on behalf of Sister Homa and Sister Onaiza, they're not here today. Uh, they told me they're on a family commitment, but I'm sure if they were here, they would have said the same thing. So on their behalf, I'm just uh, adding that that uh, they, they're both uh, on the same, uh, if I say your comments and Sister Lumina's comment combined, they will be on the same wavelength. So we want to uh, thank them for their uh, dedication and their, their they're like asset for this class and inshallah i'm sure they will continue on their back and uh, when we have a new plan i'm sure all of you will say labbaik inshallah yeah <laughs> okay so brother khalid maybe you can go ahead yeah assalamu alaikum rahmatullah brother um, uh, uh, jazakallah khair yeah I'm, in last month you know, uh, uh, um, uh, over one and a half year, uh, I have learned a lot uh, how to you know, understand the Quran and uh, uh, how to understand the meaning and how to, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, by breaking up the uh, individual, you know, letters. Jazakallah uh, khair. Yeah. So, my, uh, unfortunately, this last few months, I could not pay much. Um, I could not um, uh, dedicate much time on this one as I should have because I, uh, because of some other uh, task I have taken. Uh, so, Jazakallah uh, khair. Inshallah, I will my try to. Uh, we have download all your so I'll catch up more and during you know some spare time. I can say this without any doubt that, uh, mashallah, you are ready to be a teacher, but I know that you might not agree with me, but I feel most of you, actually all of you, can be a, a good teacher in the, of the basic level, but it all depends on how and when you want to take that uh, candle and the light and move forward with it, right? So my uh, advice and uh, actually request will be to every one of you that pick up the uh, the source of light we have been getting and just start distributing it to in, in your group or whatever circle you are comfortable with. Yeah, inshallah, we'll try to start it some um, class in Burnaby for Majid, inshallah. Inshallah. Brother Murad. Yeah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, Alhamdulillah, um, this has been a very good journey so far. Jazakumullah khair, Brother Abid. And uh, very unfortunately, this group, uh, I mean, this session, the last 10 classes that we had, uh, I couldn't pay much attention. I mean, I was trying to be one or two classes. I was absent as well. But uh, Alhamdulillah, overall, um, I would say that I'm much better. Or much better means that my understanding is uh, definitely it has gone up from what I was before. Here, I would like to add one more thing that as the sister just mentioned about that, the slight change of pronunciation or doing a kasra to the mind, changing all these, they affect a lot. And I told you, Brother Abe, that uh, I used to go to Sheikh Abdullah. You, you know him. Yeah. And, and uh, he... Uh, uh, when he was telling us that why you are making this long or why you are shortening this word. So we were, okay, that were the rules that we learned. But now the application has come now because again, that was just the Arabic. And now we are understanding with the translation that Alhamdulillah you have been doing. So that makes it much, much more clear that how important this is to read as well as to understand in the full form that it means not the full form means the way it is and it should be yeah. so no, thanks to you shukr alhamdulillah and then thanks to you from the from heart uh, no this is a blessing from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that um, that he guide us in the right direction see when we walk towards him then he keeps on opening the doors of understanding on us and and even without uh, with our difficulties and challenges we still uh, you know, get something out of it. You know, it's yes. not like a complete loss. So, mashallah. And brother Murad, for you, as I said, a lot of respect, a lot of uh, praise. 
uh, I believe you have know a lot, but you are very down to earth. So I'm awesome. sure that you are ready to uh, pass it on to some of your family members. And Inshallah. So Inshallah. You, by default, your knowledge is much uh, more than what you think you have. And, uh, and your grasp is very good on the concept. So I'm very positive and very happy that, mashallah, you're still around. That's the, that's the big part. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah so, Brother Abzal, you're next. Uh, I I want to say a lot, but, um, you know, the overwhelming effect is so much mm -hmm. that I can't really say much, uh, except I wished I would have started ages ago on this one. Mm -hmm. And I, have, uh, I would have spent a lot more time on this one rather than on the uh, wordly learning, you know, doing all those uh, things, engineering, computers, this, that, I would have spent more time on this one. But I guess um, it's never too late. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, I, I am catching up. And uh, I feel very blessed that uh, brother, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me opportunity or brought me to the same uh, um, wavelength as, as you are. As I said, um, I had the opportunity and by some or the other, I did not take it quite long time ago. And I now sincerely regret that. But may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and accept our, our work and accept our duas and uh, make us among those who are his um, favorite people are uh, who are friends to Allah. Jazakallah khair. Mm -hmm. uh, no, Jazakallah khair you, to you, Brother Abdul. You know, having you in the class, despite the challenges, is always an inspiration and something for me to keep on going. And uh, one thing I want to share with you, that this regret is a good sign of Iman, right? And uh, the beauty of our deen is that our actions are judged on the endings, so sooner or later, if we come to the conclusion that uh, whatever mistake we have done and we can correct them, then the reward will be on the ending intention and not on what we have lost or what is, has passed us. So inshallah, even from now on, if you can carry on this effort, uh, you will make up for the lost time. Inshallah. inshallah, I will. I will. Yeah. Okay. So Brother Javed, uh, please go ahead and uh, share your feedback with us, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, from uh, listening to the comments of um, the brothers and sisters, um, I think we are all on the same pace and um, we appreciate your efforts and we are together in learning and uh, uh, we hope um, that this class should be continued and um, to my um, opinion, it was a great job you have been doing and uh, you have been teaching us. Um, the teaching as such is, is a very good job, but especially teaching the Quran is the greater job. And um, may Allah reward you uh, in, an, in abundance. And uh, so we, uh, and I, uh, I believe we will... Um, we will be together in uh, learning further classes. Amen. And um, I appreciate the help you are extending to us and um, giving us opportunity to, to learn. The learning is, um, is available for everyone. Um, I think uh, some of us have learned a lot and some like me, I mean, I tried, but uh, I tell you when I was away um, for a month, Mm -hmm. um, though I was on, on a good uh, trip, but I still missed uh, your class. Um, every, every class, <clears throat> every Saturday, I was missing that I was feeling that something I, I'm missing. Mm -hmm. But Alhamdulillah, um, we are together in this learning and we will be, inshallah. Okay, now we'll brother Javed. So, you know, the time is up, but if you It's 12 me, hours. If you allow me, I would like to take another few minutes to just close the class. So regarding Please. Brother Javed, uh, mashallah, 
when he was away for Hajj, he didn't know that we had uh, two breaks. Like for two weeks, we did not had the class, one for the Canada Day and one for the Hajj. So he was so worried and he was so feeling uh, at loss. He's saying, oh, Brother Abid, I called him when he was at Hajj. We had the phone numbers. Uh, Brother Javed is a very good friend of mine. Uh, I go visit him in his office. So he was so worried. He said, Brother Abid, I missed two classes. I can't wait to get back. And I said, you know, you did not miss anything because we did not have class for two weeks. And he was so happy to find that out. And when he was coming back, it was on a Saturday, I believe, and he wanted to attend the class right after he landed, but he couldn't. So this is the love he had for this class. And whenever I go visit him in his office, he has printed out everything and we discuss things uh, for a long time about this. Uh, what is this? What is that? Like in, in his mind is totally, uh, you know, occupied with this. And this morning uh, at around nine o'clock, he got so worried that for some reason he thought that he missed the class. And you must have seen his message that, oh, where is the invite? <laughs> So see, this is a sign of uh, Iman. And this is a sign of a person who, mashallah, whose heart is really, really into learning. And, and all of us are in one way or the other on the same page, as he said. So may Allah accept it from all of us and, and bless us with, because of this effort. So inshallah, my plan is, as I said always, that until we have the last breath, learning should go on. But I worry about you guys. I worry about, you know, the schedule and all that. But if you guys want to continue, inshallah, we can uh, we can continue. And I had also suggested that maybe now a lot of people might be thinking that they want to start. But since we are so ahead, they would not be able to join us. So maybe we should start from scratch. And then all of you come to that class and revisit all your learning and become some sort of uh, assistant in teachers uh, in teaching me or assist, assisting me in providing this knowledge and expanding this horizon, you know? So think about that as well. Um, with that, I wanna show you this page, which you guys already know. This is the Burnaby Masjid page, the website, the YouTube channel. And what we have done that we create a playlist. A playlist is a group of all the classes in one, one place so that if you are looking for basic surf, the try little work, which is the Selassie Mazid, we just did. You will click here. And after today, you will have 10, number 10 here because we have a total of 10 sessions. So if you click on here, you can basically see all the sessions here. Okay. You see that? Session one, session two, session three. So if somebody is looking for a review, you guys can follow these playlists here does everybody know about that yes yeah. yeah yeah and see we are at least 10 people in this class or 10 12 depending on the so mashallah looks 95 people have viewed this but look the number of views or likes three yeah so when we are watching it even for a minute or two or five minutes if we just click on the share or this uh, like button what does that do Obviously, it's not going to do much for me. I'm not getting paid or not getting any money out of it. But the, the number, the, the likes goes up, the, the video become more popular and more people can reach it, right? So I have been requesting that you should, you should all become part of my, you know, you should become an ambassador for this, this course. So whatever we have learned, we want everybody around us to benefit from this. Yes or no? Yes. How many of you wish that all your family members will be part of this effort? Of course. Yes, yes, yes. All of you, right? But yep. it's not possible because everybody is on a different level. Everybody mentally or emotionally or whatever lifestyle they have, they may not listen to you or they may, even my own children doesn't listen to me, right? But what if somebody like the way the brother who approached me in the lobby of my office and I was like surprised, I was like shocked, yeah? So can we, can you guys help me? This is one way of, you know, the, all the good words you tell me when you, when you give me feedback. If you really want to put it into practical, then this is what I expect from you. That be the ambassador. Be the ambassador of spreading this word to other people. So can I count on you guys? Inshallah, yes. Inshallah. And one thing which disappoints me once in a while, even though I'm trying to overcome this, that when I send a message on the WhatsApp, 
you know, I need some feedback, you know, like even yesterday, the group is more than 100 people. And I asked a simple question and only three or four people responded, you know? So that is some, sometime it breaks my heart and I feel that, you know, maybe people don't care. But then I say, no, no, everybody's busy. Everybody, maybe they haven't seen the message. So I give them the benefit of the doubt. But at least the people yeah, who are yeah. close to me, or the people who are who are part of my regular group, maybe they should take the initiative and maybe respond so that I don't feel so bad, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, so whatever we have done, whatever correct I said is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything wrong I said is purely my fault. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from all of us once again. I mean. And the source of baraka for ourselves, our families, our grandparents, our whole family. And he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do a lot of khair for us and keep our heart open for this learning and help us benefit other people, inshallah. Sure. So mm -hmm. that, jazakallah khairan, anything if I forgot to say, if I offended anyone, if I said something wrong, please forgive me. And, uh, and jazakallah for your time and your effort. And inshallah, we'll contact, contact soon. Now, one thing I might do, I might make small videos and maybe send it your way through the WhatsApp group. So you can you can uh, find them and watch them. Maybe five minute videos of expl me explaining some concept. Would that? Would you like that sometime? Yeah, inshallah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu Allah ilaha illa Anta. Nashadu Allah ilaha illa Anta. Nashadu Allah ilaha illa Anta.